The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko This is a useful book which can change the way you think about wealth The book the millionaire next door the surprising secrets of America's wealthy written by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko is based on a survey conducted for nine months more than 1,000 wealthy people participated in the survey and answered 249 questions the study is focused on the key factors that explain how people become wealthy in one generation Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to make sure you learn every time we have a new video out What of the authors discovered in all their research the real millionaires don't look like millionaires don't dress like millionaires don't eat like millionaires don't act like millionaires films and magazines persuade us that American millionaires own expensive clothes watches houses cars and other status items the authors found this is not the case they introduced the typical American millionaire he's a 57 year old male married with three children self-employed entrepreneur or self-employed professional his business can be classified as dull to normal contractor auctioneer rice farmer owner of mobile home parks pest controller coin and stamp dealer paving contractor his wife doesn't work outside the home or if she works the number one occupation for her is teacher she's a planner and meticulous budgeter the family live on less than 7% of their wealth they live below their means the typical American millionaire wears inexpensive suits and drives American-made cars he's fairly well educated and believes that education is extremely important for his children and grandchildren he works between 45 and 55 hours per week and is a fastidious investor he invests nearly 20% of his household realized income each year he holds nearly 20% of his household's wealth in transactional securities such as publicly traded stocks and mutual funds he defines himself as a tight line the authors compare millionaires to high-income spenders they call them PAW or prodigious accumulator of wealth and UAW or under accumulator of wealth PAWs need to achieve to create wealth to become financially independent to build something from scratch UAW's more often need to display a high status lifestyle there are three words that profile the affluent frugal 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 being frugal is the cornerstone of wealth building but it doesn't sell TV time and newspapers young people are indoctrinated with the belief that those who have money spend lavishly in reality many people who live in luxury have little money left over after funding their high consumption lifestyles they're high income spenders who tell the youth to earn and spend they could be millionaires but instead a lot of them are on the perpetual earn and consume treadmill spending lavishly they sell their financial independence in contrast planning and sacrificing high consumption today PAW's have financial independence tomorrow in addition it's very difficult for a married couple to accumulate wealth if one is a spendthrift not only is the typical millionaire frugal but his spouse tends to be even more frugal their households play great offense and great defense great offense means that a household generates an income slightly higher than the norm great defense is they're frugal when it comes to spending for consumer goods and services the majority of people do not have the ability to increase their income significantly so they can concentrate on their defense according to the authors it's much easier in America to earn a lot than to accumulate wealth because it's a consumption oriented society millionaires who have successful adult children follow some rules how to raise them 
parents don't tell the kids that they're wealthy until after they've established a mature disciplined and adult lifestyle and profession parents stay out of their children's family matters don't try to compete with them and emphasize their achievements they teach their kids that good health longevity happiness a loving family self-reliance and friends are more valuable than money an interesting fact is that millionaires who are usually business owners encourage their children to become self-employed professionals such as physicians attorneys engineers architects accountants dentists the main reason for their preference is that everything can happen to your business but nobody can take your intellect millionaires don't want their children to take significant risks they want them to be well educated and their intellect can be their capital unlike their parents children postpone entering the job market until they're in their late 20s or even early 30s which is not an advantage the millionaire next door by Thomas J Stanley and William D Danko is an amazing book on the topic of personal finance it's a great read for those who have an unhealthy relationship with money the real-life stories are inspiring they can change the way you think about wealth and help you start new habits and become affluent tell us in the comments what's your favorite book Facebook read and grow one Twitter twitter.com slash read and grow one